Welcome back to the show. Kimberly Perot had the opportunity to sit down with an endodontist to learn a little bit about some more ways that we can take better care of our oral hygiene. Let's take a look. Now, you know, a smile is the gateway to confidence, also the gateway to health, and it's very important to have a good smile, but what happens when one of your teeth gets knocked out? You know, as adults, you don't necessarily lose your teeth as often. So joining us today to talk about confidence is Dr. Craig Hirschberg, the president of the American Association of Endodontics. Dr. Craig, how are you this morning? I'm great. How are you, Kimberly? I am doing so well. Happy Friday. Now, what is the latest survey? What did it reveal about the fear of sports related injury? Well, surprisingly, uh, we had about a third of the respondents let us know that uh, they were avoiding playing sports or have avoided playing sports out of fear of losing a tooth. Yeah, I know that's definitely something as an adult you become a little bit more aware of. Now, talk to me about some tips for tooth loss from accidents or from, from playing sports. Well, in the event that uh, you sustain a, a tooth knocked out, the important thing is that that tooth gets replaced into the socket as soon as possible. So once the tooth is recovered, uh, Either the person who sustained the injury or somebody that's helping them should try to just take that tooth and wiggle it right back into the socket uh, right then and there, uh, realizing that sometimes that is impossible or um, in the event that that's beyond somebody's comfort level, then you would seek professional care for that. So uh, try to find an endodontist, a dentist, or you know go to the emergency room. Uh, and seek professional care for that. Now, it's very important to remember that that tooth needs to be kept moist because the cells that are on the surface of that root have to be kept alive if we want that tooth to reattach to the bone. So the ideal thing would be to take that tooth, place it into a container of milk, and the colder that milk is, the better, and then you know, get yourself to uh, some place where you can have that emergency care. That's so interesting. You recommend if you have the stomach for it to just stick it right back into into its socket. I love that. Now, you mentioned going to see an endodontist or a dentist. Can you explain the difference between the two? Well, an endodontist is a dentist, but uh, somebody who's had a minimum of two years of additional training um, in advanced endodontic procedures and root canal treatment is an, uh, an endodontic procedure. Um, also a lot of training in advanced pain control and um, has a lot of additional technology available in their offices. And I want to add that the way that an endodontist's office is set up, they're accustomed to accommodating patients on very short notice in the event that they have had uh, dental trauma or, you know, if uh, you've got a toothache, you know. Absolutely. In most cases, you give a call and their response is going to be, come right over. Absolutely. Now, how often do you see sports-related injuries for adults if they're just casually playing sports? It happens more often than not. I cannot give you the exact <laughs> rate that they occur, but you know, those of us that are in practice uh, you know, will probably see these types of injuries a couple times a month um, you know, in a... In a busy uh, clinical setting, uh, you might see them even more frequently, especially if you are seeing uh, you know, uh, a, uh, a young population along with it. And Dr. Craig, where can we go for more information and, and better educate ourselves on what to do in the event that it does happen? So a great resource would be go, to go to our association's website, which is aae.org. And uh, there's an entire area there of uh, you know, information for the patients. And in the event that somebody sustains dental trauma or if somebody's having a toothache, they can go to findmyendodontist.com and it's a great database that allows patients to refer themselves to an endodontic specialist. Well, thank you so much for that information. I love the tip. Put it in cold milk if it falls out and you don't have the stomach to put it back into your mouth and go get help. Thank you so much for that, Dr. Craig. We appreciate you coming on the show this morning. Thank you, Kimberly.